and I just moved to Orlando, Florida. This is what my space looks like right now, but it definitely needs more work, but let's pack some orders. This girl ordered our gorgeous orange satin top and our pink tie top. So I head over to my shipping station and grab everything I need. I start with this AirPod sticker. She's my friend and I know she has AirPods, so I hope she likes it. Then I grab a poly mailer and all my other materials. So a business card, a sticker, and these two postcards that I designed myself. After that, I also grab a matching scrunchie, which I thought this orange one would be perfect with that top. Then I grab some tissue paper and head over to my cool little coffee table that pops up like this, put all the clothing in the center and fold up the sides. I put the scrunchie on top of the clothes and then wrap everything together with a sticker. I put the postcards with the order and then grab my poly mailer. These new poly mailers are 100% recyclable and reusable for returns, so they're really awesome. Put all the items inside and then weigh them to get an accurate shipping label. I then print my shipping label, put it on the package, and we're done. Hey guys, today I'm working on a pretty big custom order for my tie-dye Etsy shop, Cloudy Dyes. This order is eight matching pink tie-dye sets for a customer's birthday party vacation trip. I decided to go with a two-tone pink design for an extra pop of color and dimension. For something special I decided to do for this order was to create personalized name stickers for each person in the order. This is a great way that I can give back, give them something personalized and special, and also indicate whose set belongs to who. I use my iPad Pro and my Cricut machine to die cut these stickers. This part is so satisfying and very difficult to film with one hand. As I pack the order, I lint roll every single piece and fold it very nicely so that it is absolutely perfect before it gets into my customer's hands. I package each set individually with a thank you card as well as those name stickers that we just created. If you guys want to check out my Etsy shop, you can go to cloudydies.etsy.com. I package all eight sets nice and snug in a box with a handwritten thank you note and this order is ready to go. Please don't be ugly. Please don't be ugly. Please. Please. <gasps> oh my god! Hey, what's up everyone? Today I will be showing you how I package my clothes as a small business owner. Today somebody got these two gorgeous tie-dye dresses. So first I start with washing my hands with alcohol, you know, cause Corona out there and shit. So yeah, just nicely fold the dresses, make it all cute and shit. Also, I want to do a TikTok giveaway because I have been getting a bunch of orders through TikTok. Um, so, and I've never done a TikTok giveaway, so if you guys have any suggestions on how to do it, um, let me know in the comments below and the next video will be about the giveaway. Anyways, I sealed it with one of my customized stickers and it wasn't really fitting into this bag here, so I had to switch it out to my bigger bag. And with every order, I do add a customized thank you card um, to let them know about my monthly PR box giveaway I do and just my social media links. Then I put it inside a black poly mailer bag just so I won't have to put the shipping label on my actual packaging. And yeah, this is how I ship my orders as a small business owner. Karen TikTok is still at it. Go into my video saying, your stuff's too expensive. It all looks terrible and no one's gonna buy it. These people are really so salty. I won't give them my stuff for free. It also annoys me that people are going around telling me how much my art is worth. It's people like that that make a lot of artists undervalue their art. Especially those that have low self-confidence. Because there's a lot of people that kind of have a confirmation bias when it comes to the quality of their work being judged by other people. No matter how many people say it's great, those few people who say it's terrible will stick in their mind. When I was commissioning my friend for art, when we were trying to work out how much I needed to pay him, the prices we came to were very different. And y'all have seen the capuchin art he made. It is very good, but he was undervaluing it so, so much. Because people tell him, well, it's not worth that much. I ended up giving him a minimum I was going to pay. Hey guys, it's Aurora from West Main. Let's pack an order. So she ordered our black denim mini and a seamless tank. So after I fold the items, I move on to tissue paper. When I worked retail, they always had us pleat it like this. I love that the folds help add a lot of dimension to the solid paper. Next, you'll see me add a sticker to the packaging. I was wondering if I should change these stickers to either white or gold. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. So with smaller items, I like to tuck in the side so it doesn't move too much in the shipping process. Next, I add my thank you cards and sticker. Then I fill my goodie bag. Finally, I can weigh the items and buy a shipping label and that's it, she's ready to go.
All right, guys, here we go with the split tail. So right here, I'm just gonna cut the tails off the ends here. So there they are right there. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put those back in the mold. So put them in the mold and then I'm gonna mix up the other color. So we're gonna do a little bit of black here. Mix that in. Some earthworm scent. Some silver holographic glitter. Some emerald green glitter. Mix that in. And then we'll shoot the color for the body. And there they are. Custom order. Just kind of curious to know, but I just want to see how far this goes. If you support the flag 110%, you think the United States is the greatest country in the world, and you support our president, support our troops, and the military, like this video. I just want to see how far it goes. I do my own nails check. <laughs> Today I made a bead tutorial for you all. So I used the Sweet Snuggles yarn by Loops and Thread, and I used an 11.5mm crochet hook. I stuffed my bees with polyester fiber fill, 
and I'm using the Amigurumi B pattern by Hooked by Robin. So here's my magic circle and me changing yarn colors. I'll turn my bee inside out before I stuff it with the polyester fiber fill and cinch the hole closed. Next I add the stinger and sew on the wing. I use felt for the eyes and blush and for the mouth I pull through a piece of black thread. First event of the weekend, let's go. First things first, I put my mask on in my car before I went to go figure out where I was supposed to set up. After I found my spot, I went ahead and pulled my machine out of the car and then put my logo on the front. I double checked my bag to make sure that I had everything and then I went to my location to set everything up. I put the bubble on the machine, plugged her in and then began unloading my bag onto the cart while they were wrapping up the ceremony. First things first, I washed my hands and then I put on my fresh pair of gloves. I then started pulling out the cotton candy cones and separating them so that they were easier to grab while I was spinning. I mixed up the sugar a little bit and then got the machine nice and hot for my first cone, which I decided to do as a swirl of pina colada and peach bellini because I personally think that those flavors taste delicious together and also look beautiful. I think the bride and groom were so happy as they both had at least two or three cones.
we're comparing my nails to Primark nails because people think they're too expensive. So Primark ones, you just get basic nails and the glue. Mine are custom made, made to measure, come with the glue, cuticle stick, nail file, instruction sheet, spare nails, and a scratch to win card for future purchases. Look how flimsy the Primark nails are. You get what you pay for. Mine are made with professional products, so they don't break easy and they are reusable.